Okay, here at Coronavirus Central, we are getting ready to play again with the Hammer 50 Cal. Uh, we've taken all precautions to make sure there is no COVID-19 anywhere around. I saw a couple of COVID-17s and a couple of 18s, but I shot them and got rid of them. So now we're just keeping our eye out for the 19. So, we're testing a slew of bullets today in the uh, Hammer 50. And uh, hopefully the sun's gonna come out and warm up and I can take this gear off. My head's freezing. As usual though, I'm jotting my numbers down for the scope. And today we're gonna try, if everything works, to go through a whole slew of different, a whole slew of different bullet weights. So we'll start light and then go to the heavy. Uh, I think I just got it sighted in now with uh, with the 385, but we're gonna go all the way to the light and then work our way down to the heavy. So follow along. Okay, that hit just left the bullseye. That's good if that's where you're aiming. Three eighty five. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. <clears throat> so it seems that I'm getting the best love with the heavier slugs. So, with the can on. Four forty five ribbed. Upper left. Four forty five ribbed with the can on. Not gripping the gun anywhere except on the pistol grip. Four forty five ribbed with the can on. Okay. That's nice bullseye. Ooh, gotta put these in. Okay, shot number one. 
shot number two. <clears throat> Regardless, I love that first shot. Four forty five. for that red dot down there. There's nothing in that way. Okay, uh, there's a 385. Gosh, is that blurry? Is that my vision? Uh, stupid automatic camera. 385. And then there was 445. Still not bad. I got to figure out why I'm a little bit off, but that just could be me shaking on the table. All right, let's go have some more fun. Fifty long nose, lower left. There. That was a good one. for this setup. Okay, recording. So now we're gonna do lower right with the 475, as we refer to as the snub nose hollow point. Okay. Shot number one. Bullseye. Let's see if we can repeat that with shot number two. Oh, yes. Yeah, I'm wiggling in the video, but darn it, that's not bad. Okay, that's a 475 snub nose. All right, so fellas, uh, in conclusion, with all the shooting that we've done today, and the temperature is about 45, uh, it's overcast, the sun's going in and out, uh, just people need to know that. Um, for what I'm playing with, it seems like the 
heavier slugs are giving me the best accuracy. The first shot always seems to hit the bullseye. Um, the, I think the best clover leafing I got was with the 475 snub nose. So I would venture to say the 385 is, is very good. The 445 ribbed, for her pleasure, and the 475 snub nose. Those would be my top three slugs as of today's shooting and testing that I would recommend being pretty much spot on for killing yourself a nice big animal. Um, so I tried gripping the gun different ways to see if that affected because I have heard people talk about free floating barrel and you pulling too hard one way or pulling the other way. So I tried holding it, just gripping this, just holding this um, uh, to see it didn't really seem for me, it didn't seem to affect anything. Uh, I would suggest uh, with this longer Caldwell, I think I'm going to drill some holes in the front of this so it drops in and won't move on me as much. But uh, so far, that's it with the hammer 50 cal. So, those three heavy weights are what I like. Um, I've got my numbers jotted down, my little laser set up. Uh, it's on. It's uh, because this is a plastic housing, it's not as you know, wiggles a little bit with my fingers. Uh, that's the only thing I don't like about, you know, bolting on the plastic. It, uh, uh, so you see, uh, I've been shooting pretty much almost all day long on two tanks of air with this AirTech booster pump. I'm down to 2,500 PSI. I started at 4,500. Now we're down to 2,500 and I'm still boosting and shooting. Uh, a couple of people have mentioned in the video, uh, they think I'm tethered, uh, but I'm not tethered. If you notice what I do, I close the valve, do my two shots, okay, then I open the valve to refill. Tethered is when you, you've got a regulator that reduces the air down to whatever your output is, and you don't ever close the valve, you leave it open. So, you can't really be tethered at 4,500 PSI because your tanks are at 4,500. You need to have a 6,000 PSI tank regulated down to a 4,500 output, then each shot would be at 4,500. I'm not tethered. I just didn't disconnect it. So the first shot's at 4,500. The second shot is at 3,500 because we're using around 1,000 to 1,100 PSI per shot. So for you guys that think I'm shooting tethered, I'm not. I'm just not venting and taking the hose off. But I have closed the valve so it's not continually filling. It doesn't fill till I open. So I just wanted to clear that point up. Um, like I said, jot your numbers down. If you're using an electronic scope, that really helps a lot. So Mr. Hollow Point says, thank you for watching. Hopefully we'll have something else to play with shortly. We'll keep testing and we'll keep bringing you those instructional up-to-date videos because I am an instructional up-to-date kind of guy. Coronavirus 2020. How do you tell if it's hammer time? What time is it? How do you tell the time if it's hammer time? That's the way I tell the time. How do you tell the time? This one runs 10 minutes slow every two hours. This runs 20 minutes fast every four hours. The one in the middle is broken and stopped at two o'clock. Well, how do you tell the time? I take the 10 minutes on this one and subtract it from the 20 minutes on that one. <laughs> then I divide by the two in the middle. Well, what time is it now? Oh, uh, 10 minutes to four. So hammer time must be 10 minutes to four.